Hello guys, welcome back to my channel VFX Expert. So guys, in the today's class, we are going to see object tracking in Synthais. So let's start the class here. So now we are inside Synthais and just type import over this sort inside Synthais. So simply that you can play and just check. So this is our sort here. So just we are going to see how to track this object inside Synthais, whichever this board here. So just you can see this one here. So for this sort, just I am going to use supervised tracking or just you can say manual tracking inside Synthais. So simply just we have to click on the trackers then before tracking your sort we have to also create a object group because by default if you will see this is showing here this camera group here so whatever track point you will create so by default this will place into camera group not object group so for tracking your object first we have to create an object group then simply we have to click on sort then bottom side you will get this add object add moving object options here so just we have to click here so now if you will see here this active tracker host or active group whichever object now whatever point just you will create so this will actually put inside this object group now just track this sort so now just i am going to use supervised tracking so simply inside the trackers group so you will get all these settings here for tracking this sort so now if you want to create a track point simply just we have to click on this band here now just click here so this will add actually track points here now simply just you have to left click then from this position just easily just you can place this then just you can adjust this pattern size and pattern area now simply just we have to press a space bar so this will track this frame here so remember this one actually this play head position is important now just i have placed this tracker at this frame 7 here. now simply just you can press a space bar or just you can click on this play so this will track this point okay simply just you can click on this track forward or just you can click on this play so this will track this point now just you can see this one now just we have to place this play at frame 7 now just we have to track backward then simply we have to change this direction here backward now just again just we have to click here so this will track this point okay so now first point simply just i have tracked this one here now same i just i am going to track maybe this point so in same line just i am going to track so maybe this one now just place this play at this starting frame here and just I am going to track maybe this point here. Then again, this magic band is checked. So just we have to click here. So this will add this track point. Now just we can adjust these positions. Now simply press 5. So this will center this point. Now just we have to change the direction. Now just place a space bar. Now I just create maybe at this position. So now again, click and just create a track point. Now again, press a space bar, change the direction. So check your player positions, okay? So according to your player position, just we have to change the direction backward or forward. Then only this will track your track point. Maybe some points in between. So now here simply just type track over this sort. Now again press 5. So now just simply we can play and just check. So again change the directions. So now just you can see. Simply just type track these track point inside synthesize for this sort here. So after this just we have to solve our object. Then we have to go to the solver tab. Because just I am going to solve our object. So simply in this active tracker group first we have to select this camera. Then we have to make it disable. And just we have to select the disables because only just I am going to solve over this object motion here. Then again select this object. Now simply just we have to solve this one. So just we have to select this automatic. Then we have to click on go. Now here simply just type solve over this object motion. And it's our object motion solve error which is 0 0.20. I think this is actually good here. Now just we can play and just check. So now here if you will see maybe I think just I am getting this camera is moving here. So if you will see this one here so I think this camera is moving but not object. So just you can see this camera. So now this is actually just moving here but actually just what I want. So just actually just I want this object motion not this camera. So simply in this uh, go to the 3D tab. So just you will get this options here. So simply just if you will click on this one. So now just I am getting this 
what do you so now if we see so this will actually fix this camera position and this will move this object now just you can see so now just i am getting this object movement here whichever this object motion here simply just we can play and just check so now just you can see this object movements here so this is camera is fixed here So now out of the gesture, I'm going to create a test geometry for this object here. So simply what you can do. So just simply just you can again click on this one. So just you can create this object and just you can place it here according to your requirement. So just again go to the 3D tab and just select this geometry, maybe this plane. And just create this one. And just delete the second one. Select this one and simply just you can take this rotate tool. And just you can rotate and just you can place according to requirement. Okay, so this is just only for testing purpose here because properly just we will adjust about this object orientation, all these things here. But now if you will see here, just I am getting this little bit this object motions here. But actually, still just I am getting this camera movement, then simply just you can switch this one here. Okay, now just you can see this one. Now just I am getting this object motion here, but actually just properly just I have not adjusted this object positions and rotations here. So for this what we can do? So simply first just reduce this uh, plane subdivisions here. So again just select this plane. Then go to this one here and just you can reduce this one. So just I am getting this one by one here. Then after this what I am going to do? So just I am going to link this uh, plane corner with this track points here. So simply for this what we have to do? first we have to check over this object movements here so just you can see this one so simply again just we have to select this camera and perspective view two view just we have to select so in first view just i am getting this camera view and second one this is our perspective view simply just we have to lock this one then we have to select over the geometry then right click then click on this set edge edit mesh means just i am going to edit over this mesh so we have to click here so just i am getting these things here so let tell but just adjust this pan and zoom so which this is we can see so what i am going to do here so just i am going to link this plane corner means this vertex this vertex this vertex this vertex to related track points here so this will actually adjust this object orientation according to the these track point positions okay so now bottom side you will get this lasso vertex selection then you can select this vertex first one here then we have to select this track point which are this one here then we have to right click on this geometry inside this perspective view then we have to click on linking then click on add link to selected so first point just type link with this vertex here now just select this second vertex so as you can see this little bit red dot means this is selected vertex then you can select the second one points then right click on this geometry then linking add to selected second one also just type link then third one first we have to select this vertex then select point then right click on this geometry go to linking and just click on add link to selected now just select this one and then select point then right click linking add to selected so now here just type connected all these points with our related track points here then after this just we have to adjust this actually geometry so for this simply again we have to right click on the geometry inside this perspective view then we have to go to this linking and just we have to select option this align via link dialog box here then we have to select this option which your first one align mesh to tracker position this is again important things here and just check all these two options here now just we have to click on ok so now here if you will see so simply just type align this object according to our these track point positions here so now just i am getting this result here so in both view so now if you will play and just check so now this is properly just matching here and just moving according to this object movement here now again select simple this camera view so just we can check through this view now just we can play and just check so properly here just i placed over this geometry here so now just only for testing purpose again if you want to check through this uh, quad view so just you can see this object is just moving here now just you can see so just i am getting this object movements here so like this simply just you can create your test geometry according to your object's movement here
then you can select this plan and just you can maybe if you want to change this color or if you want to adjust this maybe these row and column then you can also adjust according to your requirements so now if you want to create another geometry then maybe take this earth link so this is just again only for testing purpose Now just you can play and just check so this is simply just also just i placed over this geometry on top of this board here and all things are just matching here so after this just i am going to export this camera track for this maya here so simply just we have to click on this file then we have to click on export then go to this folder and select this maya sk scene original so inside this synthize folder just i am going to give a name so object track then we have to click on save then select your starting frame which is zero then rotation order x y g now simply just we have to click on ok so now again come inside maya so now we are inside maya so we just we have to import our tracking data which just we have exported from synthize simply just we have to click on file then open scene and just select your file which just we have exported from synthize so inside this synthize folder this is our file which just i have exported from synthize just we have to select then we have to click on open don't save so here just i have imported this camera tracking data and now just we have to select this camera view and just we are looking through this camera view here so just disable this grid here now just i am getting this object track here so still i think little bit just i am getting some these small locators here so this is our actually main synthesis group so just we have to open this one so this is our actually object group and this is our camera here so just we have to open this object group and just again open this main group so just i am getting all these track points so just we have to select all these track points or locators here and just make it maybe one so just i am getting all these track point whatever point just i have track inside synthesis so just you can see so properly all these things are just matching here so just only for testing purpose just i am going to create a test geometry and these are actually maybe these guys points and uh, maybe other geometry which just i have created inside synthesis so just if you want you can just delete this one but now just after this just i am going to create test geometry now just take this cube adjust size then you can adjust rotation all these things then d and v and just place anchor point at this bottom now press v and just place snap it at this positions here then we can adjust maybe rotations now just if you will actually move this plate so this will not move according to this object right so for what we have to do so simply just we have to select this 3d geometry whatever just we have created or imported and simply just we have to place into this object group here so just we can select and just drag and drop into this object group so now if you will move so this is just moving according to, according to this object movements here or according to this object motions here then remaining rotation all these things just you can adjust according to requirements now we can play and just check and remaining this object rotation all these things just you can adjust according to requirements here so this is just only for testing purpose Here, many things just you can adjust according to your requirements here. So, guys, like this simply just you can track your object inside Synthes. So, if you like this video, please watch, share, comment, and subscribe my channel if you are still not subscribed my channel. So, thanks for watching.